On what would be Marathon Monday, a sign of the times, a deserted finish line on Boylston Street in Boston. For the first time in its history, the race is postponed. Runners now look to toe the line in September. And as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us from Boylston Street tonight, when that day comes, runners and spectators will be ready. Today is um, eerily quiet. It's Patriots Day, but the starting line in Hopkinton has a different feel. Oh, the feel today is just desolate. Sue Hadley's front porch is just a stone's throw away from the starting line of the Boston Marathon. This would have been her 30th year hosting runners and being in the midst of all the festivities. It is an iconic race, and um, this is a sad time um, for the world. David Cody also lives at the start of the marathon on Ash Street. Normally on this day, it is packed with everything from runners to police uh, to porta potties. But the coronavirus silenced all that. It appears people are listening to the city's and the BAA's request for people not to participate. This was the right move to postpone it. Folks that live at the start here in Huffington say they never seen it this quiet before on Marathon Monday. And they're glad that the marathon has been postponed and not canceled. And they look forward to everyone returning in the fall for a marathon they believe will be very special. We drove along the entire 26.2 mile route and found just a few runners out for a jog. People taking social distancing and the stay at home order very seriously. At the faded finish line, just a few people taking some photos. Back at the start, Sue Hadley knows there will be a race one day soon, just not this Monday. We'll rebound from all of this with greater resilience to uh, finish the race. And Hopkinton on Paul Burton, WBZ News.